Hi, it's Matt here. So this is my 2014 Tesla Model S and I only charge this on cheap rate overnight electricity. That's with the Octopus Go tariff where you get four hours of cheap rate energy. So in my case, what I do is I have a schedule in the Wallbox Pulsar Plus charger here. So it only charges between 12.30 and 4.30, regardless of when the car's plugged in. Or you can do it with the scheduler in the car. So what I'm going to talk about on this video is a sort of bug in the Teslas where they'll only charge at 16 amp when you use the car scheduling or the wall box scheduling and how you fix it. So from what I've seen, this issue affects uh, Model 3s, Model S's, so probably every Tesla out there. And it seems to be related to various over there updates. So with the Teslas, what happens is the charging stats or charging information is locked down to a location so when you pull up to a location either your home or work it knows what the charging arrangement is so if you set a schedule so it charges overnight at a location if for some reason your car thinks there's only 16 amp available it's always going to do 16 amp charging and the result of that is you're not going to get enough charge in your car for your day's driving because you're only going to put about 14 kilowatt hours in versus twice that so that's exactly what i found and um, if i go into my app for the wallbox pulsar plus it's just got to connect over wi-fi there uh, what i found is it was only charging 16 amp and I was only getting 14 and a half kilowatt per hour. This seems to now be taking a while to connect. Right, that's found it now. So what I found, if I go to my charging stats, let's just put that down there, that might be easier, and look at view all. What I found is I was often only getting 14 and a half kilowatt hours on a night. Uh, I'm charging various cars here, so you can't read too much into this information but when it's limited to 16 amps i was only getting 14 kilowatt hours into the car and on the screen here this would say 16 amp and you couldn't go any higher and if you opened your tesla app uh, you would get the same here you would have 16 amp on this box and you couldn't get it any higher than 16 amp because everything is char everything is stored per gps location so if in your tesla you have this issue where you've only got 16 amp here at your location what you've got to do effectively is make it relearn what the available current is at your location so to do that you've got to do a charge basically outside of that um cheap rate tariff so like now middle of the day what you've got to do is either remove the scheduling from the car or remove the scheduling from your charger your wall box and initiate a charge allow it to charge and it will relearn that 32 amp is available and then from that point on you will have 32 amp here so let's just try that now so in my case i'm not doing any scheduling in the car now because i found on the teslas um, that's not great because you can't have a stop and an end time you end up having a uh, to part time and I don't depart at the same sort of times so for my charging because I want the charging strictly to only be for that four hour cheap rate period I do all the scheduling within the wall charger so I've got a schedule set here for 12 30 in the morning to 4 30 in the morning so what I do is delete the schedule and then the car should start charging there we go starting to charge and in a minute that will start charging so you have to leave that running for about three minutes for it to ramp up there we go it's now charging now so we see there the currents gone to 16 amp of 32 available because obviously I don't have this issue at the moment but if we leave that for a few minutes there we go it's now starting to ramp up the battery is very cold because the car hasn't been used and it was minus five or something last night but that will start ramping up as it is there to 32 amp so you just leave that for a minute or two so it can learn that you've got 32 amp at this charging location then you can stop it put your scheduling back on 
and then from that point on the car is going to know that there is 32 amp at this location so yeah mine's been charging for a minute or so at 32 amp so quite happy with that so i'm going to go back into my wall box charger and i'm going to add a schedule and we want it from 12 30 in the morning to 4 30 in the morning every day of the week add the schedule so that's now stopped i heard the clunk there because now the charger is blocking any supply and that's going to sit dormant now until 12 30 in the morning unless of course i disconnect and drive the car and all my charging at this location is now 32 amp so that's how you fix it but what i would say is you've got to just be wary of the over there updates because i've done this a few times now and when i get an over there update it seems to sometimes lose this information and then it might take me a few nights before i realized i haven't added much of a charge at night because i didn't realize it's gone back down to 16 amps so you just have to do that little routine to make it to uh, make the car relearn what the charging rate is at that location and i would just add if you've got multiple locations multiple properties work home or whatever you're going to need to do this at each location and that's how you get over it but it does seem to be introduced with over the air updates so tesla's software isn't always um, bug free but anyway that's how you fix it i hope this video has helped if it has please do click the thumbs up button on youtube that really does help other people find the channel do subscribe if you haven't hundreds of ev videos on the channel and i'll see you on the next one one other quick thing to add if you find it's not working and you're still only getting 16 amp just disconnect your charger wait for 20 seconds and reconnect it and that will be enough for it to change up there on the screen and then you'll get your 32 amp